We're going to have a look at uh, attaching the mylar film to your airframe. Now basically we're going to use UHU pour glue or UHU expanded polystyrene as now it's called. Uh, but if we use it just as it is, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit thick and it's going to add too much weight to the airframe. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to mix it with some of this, which is uh, we call it shellite here in Australia. It's, uh, it's basically it's lighter fuel. So we're going to have a little mixing container and we're just going to mix probably about 50-50. Okay, you can see how much I've got there. Or even just a, a little bit more shellite. Okay, that's the UHU in. Now we're just going to mix it up. We just need it to form a, a very thin paste. Now just mix it up very quickly. Okay, it's a bit too runny, so we're just going to add some more glue. So whatever you're mixing it up with, you just want it to, to drip off the end of that. Uh, not run off, but just drip off the end a bit. Okay, let's have a look there. It's mixing up quite well. Okay, so there's about the consistency you want. So we'll just drip off. Okay, so with the, that consistency, we can now start just using either a a cotton wool bud or a paintbrush and we're just going to smear it onto the, the airframe. Okay, try not to get too much on and because it's very thin it's going to go on uh, in a very thin layer and it's going to be very light. Try this, just get it on one side of the carbon Okay, now this will dry uh, just as quickly as, as normal UHU. Okay, here's our frame. So we've got the, the frame there with the mylar sheet stuck onto it. And then the frame just goes on that side. We'll just push it down so it's connected all the way around. Okay, and we'll let it dry. And that's all it is.